All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Guys, say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toastman, Log and TV, and let's get started. Guys, if you're not subscribed to the Knives Fast channel, you should be. Just go over there and hit that subscribe button. We have lots of great content. Watch what we've got and uh, decide for yourself. But man, I we just have so much fun. Hit that subscribe and that thumbs and the uh, bell so that you get all the notifications. Now, today we have a Civivi knife by way of the Apex Pass Around Group through Seth over at Civivi. This is the Synergy 3 and Black G10 Handle Stonewash Nitro V Blade in a Tanto, uh, almost like a trailing point Tanto. I, I don't know. Does that exist? It does now. Uh, so, guys, this one is really cool. I want you to, this is one I slept on. I kind of looked at it. Look, I'm going to be honest. I thought it was ugly. Uh, but now that I have it in hand, I totally see the appeal. You have this contour G10. You have texture on that contour G G10. The texture's got style. Uh, you have the, the typical Civivi pivot, but it looks totally cool and different on this one. Uh, typical Civivi pocket clip. Now, this one is in set down into the scale, and you have flat screws. Hoorah, hoorah. Beautiful, beautiful. It is not reversible. You do have a lanyard hole. But like I said, everything is chamfered and clean and nicely done. Uh, really cool. Now, uh, flipper tab here is really good. Got some jimping there. Typical Civivi. And look at that crazy blade. That's why I say it's like a trailing point uh, because it's kind of got a uh, look of a trailing point. But it's a tanto. Got this sweep going on with the swedging here. Uh, really nice sharpening choil. There is... Uh, only, uh, G I think it's, what's his first name? Is it Jim O. Young? Da -da -da. Yeah, Jim O. Young, his logo there. He's the designer. Now, you know, this was the Wii Synergy, and then it, now it's Civivi. Uh, a little uh, less expensive materials and uh, a little more affordable. Now, this guy, I see it at White Mountain Knives for $93.50. 10% uh, off using the code Knives Fast, obviously. Uh, really cool uh interesting knife now uh like i said you do have this swedging on the back it is uh, uh ball bearings guys you can see down in there but look at the crowning and the swedging this is just cool now your thumb ramp is more back here on the handle so that doesn't really bother you because you really i mean if you go up here it feels funny the natural grip to me is here and there's plenty of room back through here and that texture right here just grabs you man it is so good feels wonderful in the hand. The shape feels good. The pocket clip is not because it's rounded like this. The pocket clip uh, kind of fits in that groove right here that you create with a rounded grip and uh, feels great. It's not a problem for me uh, at all. I dig it, dig it, dig it. Um, now, this guy is pretty thin. Uh, it's kind of hard to really tell because of that crazy swedging, but it's pretty thin and uh, cuts pretty well. Now, this is a pass around knife, so it did not come screaming sharp. It's already been to at least one or two other people. Uh, it did not come screaming sharp. And like I told you guys, I'm not really going to do cut testing with pass around knives. I just don't know what I'm getting. Uh, and I don't sharpen pass around knives because they're not mine. Um, but uh, yeah, really cool looking knife for sure. So let's talk about some specs. Well, no, what am I doing? I'm skipping a couple steps here. Uh, lock bar access, uh, decent. Okay. You can come right across and just push it out of the way. That's, I mean, it works out pretty well. You do have some scalloping there, not my favorite or jimping or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but it's not too bad. Uh, it is a fairly stiff lock bar. It's a liner lock. I should talk about with that with black, uh, inset liners, there is not really any skeletonization in there. Nice open construction, but with a back spacer rather than uh, barrel spacers. As far as lockup, with a black liner, it's hard to see, but I would call that 20, 25 probably on that. Again, it is it is a pretty stiff lock bar, but it, it does go over pretty well. Um, as far as centering, yeah, dead on. Uh, now let's talk about uh, action. Guys, this thing's coming out, uh, and it drops your thumb and comes on down with a couple of shakes. Now, you do have to shake it. It's not really a drop shutter. Uh, you do have to shake it shut, but that's okay. Um, all right, how about lockup? There's a tiny bit of side-to-side -side blade play. Um, 
you know, maybe messing with the pivot would take care of that. No lock rock whatsoever. All right, so let's talk about what we've got here. We have the Synergy 3, 7.67 inches. Uh, um, uh, the overall height is 0.74. Uh, the blade length is 3.24 inches. The close length is 4.43. So, again, a little bit left over for my 4-inch hands. Feels great in hand. Blade thickness is 3 millimeters or 0.12 of an inch. I love it, love it, love it. Handle thickness is a little over half an inch, uh, 0.57. Uh, the weight is 3.59, so 3.5 ounces uh, for 3.24 inches of blade length. Not too bad at all. Nitro B, blade steel between 59 and 61 on the HRC. Uh, stone wash blade, tanto finish or tanto tip. Uh, wow, I can't speak today. And uh, just a really nice one, guys. Now, again, White Mountain Knives, $93, 10% off. Uh, that is going to be uh, a really good deal. Now, it does have, it does uh, kind of narrow down at the tip. So it would be a good uh, tactical or piercing uh, blade if you wanted it to. But there's enough belly here, guys, that you don't even have to worry about this section if you don't, by the way, full, flat grind, high flat grind here, flat grind here. Um, and, and what's great is there's so much belly here. Uh, it does well. I said I wasn't going to cut, but let me just get a little piece of ah, rope here. Wow. Almost fell on the ground. I'm old. Um, I just want to show you because it, the, the, like I said, the shape of that blade, I'm just, all I'm going to do is slide it. Okay. Really clean and nice. Uh, just cuts pretty well. I mean, it's not. Definitely uh, not screaming sharp right now, uh, but yeah, I got the feeling if you just touch that up, it would be uh, just great. And I love that stone wash finish. Really, really nice. I'm digging this knife a lot more than I thought I would. To be honest with you, I wanted to see the ba the beacon. The bacon, really? I like bacon. I wanted to see the beacon, and this one came in a package in the pastoral group. I'm like, sure, what the heck. Uh, I'm really glad I did because this uh, has kind of really made me smile. A really interesting design, something different, and really well done. So guys, thanks for checking it out. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this one down in the comments. And guys, I appreciate every one of you so much. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. And thank you for watching the Knives Fast channel.